Here we are at lesson number one in this series at countryguitaronline.com. We're learning how to play really nice classic country and bluegrass strumming patterns. And we're focusing on the patterns that actually sound country and bluegrass. You know, something like this. You know, tons of different patterns just like that that we're gonna cover throughout this whole lesson series. So it's gonna be a really good lesson series. This is the very first video in the series. We're gonna start with the most basic strumming pattern in this lesson, and we're gonna just build upon this pattern that we're covering today in future lessons. So, let's start learning this pattern, and in my opinion, this pattern that we're learning in this video is the most important country and bluegrass strumming pattern that there is, really, because it's just the base, it's the foundation for this type of strumming, and then from there you just add Lots of different uh, accent strums, accent picks, all sorts of cool stuff. But the pattern we're going to cover today. A lot of times in rhythm guitar, less is more, especially when you're playing with a group of other musicians. But that hammer on, all I'm doing, play a regular G major open chord, and then now lift up your pointer and lift up your middle. And now just put your pointer back down on the 6th string 2nd fret. And to do the hammer on, just pick there and hammer to your left middle. And right after I do the hammer, I, I pretty much lift up my left pointer. So, pointer finger, hammer to middle. Pick, hammer, strum. chord progression for country and bluegrass. I play this progression all the time for just jamming out with friends and stuff like that. What we're going to do when we're looking at this pattern, we're going to talk about the chords in terms of their number. And there's a, a chord numbering system. And I'm not going to get into all of the music theory about the chord number system at this point, but I'll give you all just enough to where you can start figuring out how to transpose this chord progression or how to change keys. So we're going to start in the key of G, but then I'm, I'm going to show you how you can use this number system very easily to change keys or transpose this chord progression into a different key. Uh, say the key of A, for example. That's another really common key in country bluegrass. So looking at this chord progression on the screen, 